Okay, we jumped out the red and the white, and now we're blink we're blinking a 58. You come over here and you find 58, it says gas valve is not energized in two minutes after thermostat demand. So we're locked out. So two two quick pushes. And uh, we're also flashing a 66, which on here is uh, combustion air proving switch is open. So, and then you'll see that the module down here now has a green light. So the module itself is getting powered, but I don't hear any spark. So there's no spark. So basically what we're doing is we're losing it there at the module. All right, we're flashing code 66. Okay, so we're locked out on a code. So we're going to come over here. We're going to find 66. And it says proof switch is open on two. But basically, um, uh, it was a code, the first code flashing was a 58. It was no energized two minutes after thermostat demand on the gas valve. Okay, so those are the codes that were flashing. So we're going to go ahead and change out that box right there. I'm going to shut the power down. And we're going to come over here and we're going to change out this box. Okay, notice this for beginners. I took the box off, but I left all the wires where they go. I hung the new box. It is a little different. Don't panic. Sometimes that happens. They change things. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is now that I have this thing mounted against the wall I'm going to pull the wires off one by one and put them where they go they're labeled and this way there's no chance of mixing up the wires okay so I took one wire off at a time and put them exactly where they go so there's no chance of mixing them up now down here there is one quarter inch hex screw and it is right down here somewhere there it is. See it? Okay, we're going to take those out. We're going to put this new one in. And uh, put the one wire into it. And we're going to fire this thing up. Okay, we've done the repair. We've changed out the module and the spark igniter. I reset. I held in that button and reset the codes. So this thing can fire up. Now we're going to watch and see if it fires up. First thing, you can bust your fan motor. Second thing, the module should get energized. And then you should start to hear a spark. Let's see if we can get a little closer. Okay, there goes the spark, and there goes the ignition right. Right now, there it goes. And it, it went evenly across. Now, uh, this is, uh, it's got two, uh, it's got W1 and it's got W2. Okay, it's still coming up a code because I believe W2 second stage is not kicking in. So we repaired first stage. It was a bad module. Now we're waiting for second stage to kick in. If second stage does not kick in, then uh, we've got an additional problem here. Okay, there goes the there goes the blower motor. Now the module, the light on second stage module isn't lit, so it's probably not getting power. But the time stage two gets energized. Right now, stage two has not been energized, so we may have a problem there, and we need to look at that too. So there you have it. This thing has multiple problems. Uh, I'm going to get out my meter and it says code 66 come over to the door code 66 is air proof switch second air proof switch is open on the combustion fan that is A combustion manor, fan isn't spinning fast enough or B there's a crack in that tubing to the low pressure switch which is right here or the low pressure switch is bad, but what I'll do is get my own meter and see if that's made and see if that is the problem. But I find usually 
it's usually something right before that. It's probably ignition problem. Pop. We'll have to take a look. Let me get my meter out. Okay, so the, I amped out this motor and it's doing just fine and the pressure switch is fine and the tube doesn't have a hole in it. And I checked this here and this seems to, I put this end on and took the end off up here and I tried to blow through it and it was stopped up. It would not blow through. So what I did was I took a coat hanger right here, see? And I clipped one end off the coat hanger, and then I took it, and I pulled this end off of here, okay, and I shoved it in there, the coat hanger, a couple of times, like that. Alright, and I cleaned it out, so now let's see if it works. Alright. We're going to come over here and turn the power on. The first thing we should get is stage one ignition here. First, the combustion fan motor. And there it is. Now we should get power at the module. There it is. Notice that uh, two has been energized as well so that means this switch has been made so what we're gonna have here is the first stage is gonna light first <clears throat> there we go okay so we do have flame down there see it a little hard to see with the camera, but uh, trust me, we got flame. All right, now stage two, we have flame two. So there you go. All right, <clears throat> both are now getting energized, <clears throat> and we have no codes flashing. So there you go, we fix, and there comes the uh, the, the uh, uh, fan motor, the supply air here. So everything now is working properly. So there you go, we solved the whole thing. It was a, back, a bad ignition board on the first stage, <clears throat> and an igniter, changed those, got first stage going. Second stage was still showing a code. We thought it was the low pressure switch because I jumped it out, and it made and ran. I thought maybe there was a crack in his tube, so I took it off and tested it. And ultimately, it was clogged up down here inside the combustion fan motor. 